Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Pierre again, and today I want to check out Immortals of Avium Unpacked. This is a game that I am personally very much looking forward to when it releases in a couple months because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be single player story game, but it also has a lot of things that I'm personally looking for in a title like this. And the more I see, the more excited that I get. I know not everybody is as hyped as I am, but I don't really care because this is one that I am personally really, really hyped for. So let's check out the trailer. Everyone that can fight already is, and we're still losing. We're only going to win this one together. Sigil up. This is Immortals of Avium. Single-player, first-person magic shooter, where you unleash an arsenal of magic spells in fast-paced combat that defies FPS conventions. The mix and match of the spells looks like the most exciting part for me. Powers everything, from industry and everyday life to the military might of its five kingdoms. Okay, that looks kind of sick. Crumbling apart for thousands of years, these kingdoms have killed each other over the control of magic. They call it the Ever War. You play as Jack, a triarch, an extremely rare type of spellcaster, capable of wielding all three colors of magic with deadly precision. Together with Lucium's elite battle mages, an order of Magni called the Immortals, Jack must race to stop Rasharn's tyrant Sandrak and prevent Avium from falling into oblivion. I'll be fascinated to see how good the story is. Combat looks like a lot of fun. Sigil will help you focus the magic within you. Sigils are devices that help Magni channel their innate power to make it more effective and deadly in combat. I'm also curious to see how many spells you can learn. Empower Magnus's close quarters combat capabilities. Blue sigils focus magic into powerful bolts for long range engagements. Green sigils cast rapid fire homing projectiles that enable mobile combat maneuvers. Fury spells are heavy, hmm. more powerful spells that drain your mana bar. And you'll need to find and crush mana crystals to replenish it. Look at that big guy. These spells allow you to manipulate and navigate the world around you. These can be used to scale precarious chasms, move large objects out of the way, or access hidden locations. They also assist in solving puzzles. Control I'm not good at puzzles, but we'll see. Jack to pull enemies toward him, slow enemies, or stun enemies. Well, that's exciting. Your most powerful attack is called Immolate. It charges up over time and is released as a destructive beam of red oh, come. and green magic. Little Kamehameha wave. I'm here for it. Magic will damage most enemies. Matching your magic attack with the enemy's magic color will more efficiently shred their armor. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Mastering your magic means customizing your spell casting to suit how you want to play. Discover 25 different spells and unlock okay. all talents. Loot hundreds of handcrafted items. Craft, dismantle, and upgrade your clutch gear in the forge. Equip sigils, totems, rings, and bracers to boost your spells, abilities, and stats in combat. I hope it is as customizable as it says, so I can really make the build that I want to. Three bustling hubs to explore vibrant landscapes, delve into unknown depths, and embark on some of the most dangerous and covert missions as one of Lucian's elite immortals. Oh, here we go. I'm excited about this. Immortals are running out of time. In the middle of Avium is the wound. Is that a dragon? A formless void, ever growing, ever dividing the realm. On the other side of the front lines is the seemingly unstoppable Sandrak, amassing more power with each passing day. This is Immortals of Avium. Summon your power. Stop the Ever War. Save the realms. Okay, very interesting. Game looks very ambitious, which I like. Uh, but again, that's hard to say because you have something like 
uh, Cyberpunk, which was very ambitious, but also ended up having some issues. So we'll see how this one launches. But overall, I think there's a lot of reasons to be excited about it. The pros are obviously it looks great uh, from what I've seen so far. Uh, the combat looks like it's going to be very interesting and varied, depending on if you're able to mix and match the uh, various colors like red, blue, and green, and whether it's seamless as far as you're switching between one attack and the other. That's going to be very, very important going forward because you can't have something like this where it feels clunky as you're swapping to different types, and I think it doesn't look like it is from the gameplay that we've seen, so I'm excited about that for sure. Now, mana generation, like how much mana you need for certain things and how often you're able to replenish your mana, that's going to show you how fun combat is overall as well because the, the only downside is it, when resource generation becomes a bit of a hassle, then you're not able to just use your all fun, cool abilities in uh, rapid succession, and that's going to be a little bit of a bummer. But overall, I can't wait to get hands-on with this. I think it's going to be a very fun game. I like the ambition. It looks gorgeous. The environment looks fantastic. I'm still up and down on the story personally. I don't know if it's going to be kind of a generic fantasy adventure kind of thing that's what it seems like but i hope there are some twists and, and reasons to really sink my teeth into this one because it does look like it's going to be a game that i am very very interested in playing and it does do some things different especially with the first person magic vibe you know i think that's going to be very cool and again it looks very very polished from everything that we've seen although we still need to get hands on ourselves anyway i'd love to hear you guys thoughts my name is joe if you enjoy the video hit the like button if you want to see uh, mortals of avium content on the channel subscribe definitely helps me out shows that you want to check out this content going forward my name is joe i hope you have a good one i'll catch you all later